Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. Let's start a new week. As I have always done, I am not starting any topic today, I just want to comment on a few things with you. Exactly as I said in our meeting last week, Liv, this group is really moving forward, often at slow, dubious steps, but he is succeeding. A vast majority have already freed themselves from small details, unimportant things. And they try to take away the essence of everything I say, what is really important for your journey. I have said it here, and I will repeat it again, if you want to know how things are going, look for it. A lot is being said. A lot is already being revealed. But don't expect me to say anything here. I had already told you this a long time ago. I leave messages on thousands of channels across the planet. The vast majority of them are messages intended for those who are following very closely what is happening a little above your level. They are those light workers who have been working for a long time. Each one with their own purpose, each one within their expectations and within my planning. When I started this channel, this group, my intention has always been and will always be, to work with you. Not those who are following the waves, the portals, there are already a lot of people doing this, there are already a lot of people posting their opinions on the internet. Here it would be different, here it would be like a humble farmer leading his sheep. My intention here was to lead each of the sheep along the path. For those who have read the letters of Christ, you will understand exactly what I am saying. And many here still don't really like the sheep posture, they prefer the goat posture. They are those people who do not have a calm, serene posture. Everything is in despair, why couldn't I do it? Why don't I know how to do it? Why don't I have help? Why can't it work for me? Everything is in despair, it's that poor little bitch who never achieves anything. Everyone can do it, except her. My brothers, I have said a lot of things here and some things I always like to emphasize. But you often don't take me seriously. You listen to what I say, but you don't act as I say. So I'll keep repeating, I don't want puppets here, I don't want worshippers. I want those who have me in their hearts out of love, out of gratitude, for resonating with my energy, pure and simple. Many of you continue to act like puppets. Things are said here and you don't listen. And those who listen, also have the group, they don't stop to think, they don't stop to observe what I said here. Many are attentive, many question, and I applaud those, because those who question are not puppets, they are absorbing by reading, understanding, exactly what I say. I already told you, a lot can be said with the aim of testing you. Don't take this literally, that everything I say here is a lie. It is neither one extreme nor the other. But sometimes yes, I say some things so that you wake up, realize, ask yourselves, but is this correct? Then many may say, ah, but this makes it difficult for us, because we trust what you say. And if you say something that isn't right, how will we know? Ah, what resonated as truth in your heart? If the same little thing I say here, which is not very true, resonates in the same way, um, we have a problem there, we have a serious problem, because you are simply accepting that everything I say is true. And you don't need to think, you just need to listen, you don't need to analyze every sentence I say, you just listen. Because if you listened and analyzed, many of you would say, no, wait. This isn't very right. And this is what I want, I want thinking heads. I don't want desperate goats without knowing where to go, tearing up the entire garden. My brothers, even the words of beings of light have to be very well analyzed, because even in them there are teachings there, not just words. Why does Sananda in the letters of Christ comment that whoever does not understand something should meditate and ask him to explain? Because he knows that if he doesn't put things a little deeper, you'll simply read it, they will finish and say, I read everything. What did you understand? Oh, yet. Yeah. And they won't know how to answer. My brothers, I am not a parrot, I'm not that speaker who stands up front repeating the teachings of Father or Mother God. What I put here is to make you think. 
so don't interpret everything I say as 100% true. I want you to contest, I want you to say, no, this is strange, this is wrong. And I'm going to love it, because finally someone understood what I wanted. Someone thought about it and saw that what I said was not very appropriate. My brothers, you are in a classroom, you are not in an auditorium, listening to me speak, and when you turn your back and leave, forget everything I said. This is not a show. You are in the classroom. You are in a training period. Then many continue to ask, how to discern what is right and what is wrong. Really, until you stop to listen and analyze what I say, you will never know the difference. Because the things I say, a little distorted, those who have a ready heart realize, oops. Hey raise something. Here is a point that I need to analyze more. If you find it difficult to trust me, there is nothing I can do. This is a teaching, understand and question, why not? It's thinking about it. It may be that at the end of your questioning, you will go round and round, round and round and end up understanding what I meant, but not in the way it was written there. It's as if I put some words backwards, and for those who really read, thought, absorbed the subject, they will put them exactly in order and will understand what I meant. So my brothers, whoever is really enjoying what I say here is following every word, but not like a puppet, he is following because his heart is saying, follow. Is this right? I do have to play some pranks on you, to make you think. And most don't understand. Most remain puppets. Because she was used to this. He never questioned anything, he always accepted everything that was said. Changing this is not easy, I understand, but I wish you would at least try. It's my brothers, the journey and the learning is not simple, it's not easy. This is where I say here you have not heard news of what is happening. Then you go to the internet to listen. Yes, there are very serious channels which are really reporting events correctly. But you can see that everyone puts it their way, everyone interprets it in their own way. And then you ask yourselves, but wait, but aren't they all beings of light, why are we being so deceived? Deceived is not the word. What have I told you here? That no one knows when, no one knows how, no one knows anything. Ah, but some beings of light have explained exactly what will happen. Yes, and how many beings of light have you heard, who said different things? Who will you believe? It's becoming difficult for us to believe anything we read. Exactly. Exactly. If you start following several channels, nothing will match anything. Some things even overlap, are identical. But for the most part, no, everyone says their own thing. So, who are you going to believe? Are you going to discredit everyone? Or is each one being guided to put out a message to make you think? I'll give you an example here, many have asked me, and I won't answer, about the three days of darkness. And then if you look into it, it will be three days, others have already said it will be two weeks, others have said that it is a comet, others have said that it will be eclipses, others have said that it will follow exactly what is in their religious book. Who to believe? Who is telling the truth? All are beings of light. Who is telling the truth? Or is each person offering an option so that you can prepare? Then, many say that you will have to stay locked at home, with doors and windows closed. Why? And this is widely publicized. As far as I know, walls, windows, doors are not an obstacle to anything. So I want you to think. What will you believe? Oh, they're going to put everyone in the same basket and say, I don't listen to anything anymore. From today onwards I don't want to hear anything else. It's an alternative, not listening to anything else, just trusting your heart. Just let God the Father or Mother know and know the needs of each one of you and everything will be fulfilled, as it should be. There is no point in staying under the bed, because if the process is to rescue each one of you, wherever you are, you will be rescued. In the same way, those who do not go, may be kilometers away in the interior of the earth, if they have to leave the planet they will be removed. 
nothing will stop the action of the light. So what to believe? What should you believe? Who should you believe? There is only one answer, in yourself. The answer is there, inside your heart. He has the answer. So learn to listen to your hearts. Don't believe everything you hear, because there could be a big catch, to make you think, to make you analyze that subject. It's my brothers, I don't ask here, I never asked you to believe in me. Everyone feels it in their heart. And that's how I want it to continue. If it's difficult for you to identify what is right and what is wrong, this is the lesson. You have to learn. It's the same question you ask me, how do you identify whether you are a being of light or non-light? At this point in the journey, this question could never be asked. Because anyone who still can't differentiate one from the other is in serious trouble. He's in serious trouble. Everything that has already been taught here, everything that has already been said here, and you still ask that? How will I know? I don't know. I won't answer you any more. Even for those who are just entering. Then I do not know. Listen to the videos backwards. Everyone here is on a walk. If you are entering now, take the same walk as everyone else. Don't go in asking everything. Stop and start listening from the beginning, and you will understand exactly what I am saying. Now, it's not about going in now, oh, there's no way I'm going to hear all of this. Very good. So you have already chosen your path. But it's not asking others what to do, because you're too lazy to listen to the previous videos. So you didn't understand anything. It's my brothers, the lessons are increasingly difficult. I already said that too. And you don't seem to understand, because many keep asking the same thing. So I tell you, more and more, I will speak things enigmatically, so that you think. How many times do I have to repeat here that I don't want puppets, I don't want worshippers. I want you to see me as a brother, who can give you advice, help, when necessary. Not like, that being that I idolize, and follow with my eyes closed. No, because if you do, you could hurt yourself badly. Now I'm going to take the path out of your way, and you're going to fall, because your eyes are closed. I will place several stones for you to fall so that you can open your eyes. I don't want anyone here following me with their eyes closed. I want with hearts, minds and eyes wide open, and very questioning, very contesting. I will love this. This is what I want, to make you think, to make you grow, to make you lose your addiction to help. You all have to have help to do everything. And if tomorrow you find yourself alone in the middle of a desert, what will you do? Nothing, you will sit and cry, because there is no one around to help. Where is the trust in Father or Mother God? Where is the trust in the beings of light that protect you? But everything you have to ask for help. You can't do anything alone. Ah, I think that's it, but I'll ask. It's always like that. Where is your strength? Where is your confidence in yourself? What did I say on Wednesday? You would listen to the video. I explained it several times and said what? I don't want any questions. And what did you do? Several people asking exactly what I said. My brothers, lying in the hammock swaying, catching the breeze and asking for juice, no longer fits. He finished. Get moving. Let's go off the grid. There is no one else to make the juice. You are alone. Each with their protectors. There is no one else around you to help you. So start learning to walk alone. Start learning to make your own decisions. Ah, but I'm going to make a mistake. This is how you learn. You make mistakes and you will learn the right way. Wake up my brothers. This is not a joke. Ascension is no joke. You're not here in the schoolyard. You still think it's funny to run from one side to the other, pulling your colleague's hair. This phase is over. You have grown up. You are no longer children. At school, you were all together, now everyone went their own way. 
You no longer have friends, and when the time comes you will have to count on yourself, with those you managed to attract around you, with your masters, with your guardian angels, your guides who protect you. This is what you sowed, and at our age you will have your harvest, from the protection of them all. Don't count on anyone. You'll only have them to tell. So start learning to walk with them. Physically lonely, spiritually with them. This should be everyone's path here. Because at time age there will be no group. There won't be that little friend who will pick up the device and ask for help. There will be no. And then what are you going to do? You will scream. Are you going to run out into the middle of the street? So stop counting on others. You can only count on yourself. Stop asking for help for everything. Turn around. You refuse to learn. You refuse to evolve. Ah, this is very difficult for me. Very good. You have already decreed that it is difficult. So I'll repeat it again, at age time there won't be a group, there won't be a little friend next door, for you to pick up the phone and call. You will only count on yourselves and the beings you have brought close to you on your journey. Only. So before worrying about the group, worry about yourself. How is your walk? Do you already have your master on your side? Then many are left here, ah, because I can't do it. I see one, I see two, I see three. What's the problem? Look at the boxes. You think well inside little boxes. Nothing can go beyond the rule. Everything is wrong. I am teaching you to walk, but you prefer to sit on the path, watching others pass by. And I repeat again, at age time you won't see anyone. You will be alone in the middle of a desert. And you can only count on those you brought close to you. So do your homework. Follow the path correctly. And once again I say, I don't want puppets, I don't want worshippers. I don't want followers. I want those who resonate with what I say, who challenge what I say, who seek the truth, for me it's great. That's exactly what I want. Seek the truth. Only in this way will you know how to choose the right path to follow. I am Archangel Michael. I'm here showing options, some true, others not so much.